So today's video, I will show you how to use Rhino Pythons for uh, Rhino to edit the code in the, for the Rhino. And for that, we need the extensions in Rhino called Code Listener, and also in the extension, also the extension in the Python is a Rhino Python. So I will show you how to do it from the beginning. So first, um, it's better to start with the Chrome. This code you can uh, click on the download for Windows and then just install the install it. And then after that, we need to install Python for VS Code. So you need to install it. As you can see in here, I already have installed the Python. So uh, it says on install day since if there will be an install in here and you can install the Python. And then after installing the Python, Sorry for that. So installing the Python, we need to go on the install Rhino Python for VS Code. And it is also very easy to just click install and it, it will open the VS Code and then you, you can you can install it. So it's ready. And after that, um, we need to download the code listener for uh, from the food for Rhino. And while doing that, you need a, a license or you need a account to download this file. So you need to download this one. And after downloading, you can just click install, install, and then it's very easy and straightforward to install that. You don't need to do anything. And after this, so we need to start the Rhino. Let me start my Rhino. And to copy all of the um, file path, we, we can make a text document. And in the text document, we can, edit, we can copy all those things. need to go back a little so this is rhino and this is also so you need to open the autocomplete and copy the file path and paste here so this is all we need that's all and now i can close everything so before we go on the vs code what uh, what we have to do is we need to do we need to add blacks backslash here We need to do it. We need to open the VS Code and Control and Comma. If you click that, then it will open the setting. So in the setting, um, open the extension and then Python and go to Edit in JSON. Okay. So this is what I have right now. But what you need to do is I have I, I will put the file in the description. So these files will look like this. I will show you. I need to open my computer. I have the file. You see. Okay. So the file will look like this, and everything is ready. All you need to do is copy this. Control Alt, Control C and paste here control b okay. so I get bigger and remove the file that from mine okay so control all control copy 
and then open the views control all back remove everything and paste and then oh, we forget to do the blacks backslash here more other other things looks good and we need to do is tab it tab tab okay so now this all belongs to in this this class and everything is ready so i just need to save it let's save it. so let me close everything All I need to do is F2 and it will create a point here. So, not only point, you can do everything, and that's all. Thank you.